Okay, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how the featured uh, coupons section works, slider section on the Clipper theme. Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, what I've done is I just created a couple um, uh, sample coupons. Uh, as you can see here, I just went to share a coupon and then just created a sample one, a $20 dinner for two at a local restaurant. And just went ahead and filled out the coupon form here. And so I'll just go ahead and share it. Um, but I'm going to show you how to control the featured coupon slider section on the site uh, from uh, as you, as the administrator of the website. So let's go into the admin, and if we go to uh, coupons, we should see that there's two pending coupons that I just created, and <clears throat> there they are. So here's the two cu uh, sample coupons that I just made. So if I click on edit and open this up. And this is how they're going to appear when you get a new coupon. Uh, a new user creates a coupon on the site. You'll get an email notification saying, hey, you have a new coupon ready for you to moderate. You can then log into the admin and then go here to coupons and you'll see that it's, the status will be pending. So log in, check out the coupon, make sure it looks good. It's legit from a, a local uh, uh, business if your uh, site is a local targeted coupon site like this one is with Stevens Points coupons. Um, just make sure it's legit here. Let's say everything looks good. I t looked at everything. If I want to make it a featured coupon, you have the option to right here. So you just check that box um, and it'll show in the home page featured coupon slider section. Okay, so it's as simple as just checking this featured coupon box here when you moderate the coupon. And then just hit publish. And let's go do the same thing. So that coupon is now live on the site and it will show up as a featured coupon. Let's do the same thing for uh, for the other coupon that we have pending. So we'll just go ahead and click edit. And you can see it's not yet published because we're, we're going to screen it, moderate it, make sure it's legit, check it out. Uh, once everything checks out, it looks good. Let's say we want to make it a featured coupon. We get, again just scroll down and check this featured coupon box here, and then go ahead and publish publish the site or the uh, coupon. And then, if we go out to the site and just go to the home page and refresh it, we should see those two coupons, and they should show up as featured coupons here. And they do. This typically will take a um, up to about a minute or so for the. Um, site to actually show up here. It will though. It just is rendering the, it's pulling in that coupons website. So whatever they used for their um, their website, uh, it's pulling that in right now and that'll eventually show up here in this slider section. Once you have enough featured coupons here, it'll, this will automatically slide back and forth just and uh, display the featured coupons. So, and down here as well, you'll see this will be a, a small screenshot of the uh, uh, user's website as well. Uh, but just keep in mind that it usually takes about a minute or a couple minutes for, before that will actually show up. So <clears throat> that's how to set up this featured coupon section. It's as easy as when you screen the coupon, when you, when you moderate it, just scroll down and there is an option to make it a featured coupon. Um, that's a good way to monetize a website once you have enough users is to uh, charge for, f for the coupon to show up in the featured coupon section. Here's what it will look more like when you have um, more featured coupons out there. Uh, again, this is one of my other sites, local sites. It'll look more like this. Once in a while, you'll get one of these where uh, the actual screenshot of their website doesn't show up, and that's not anything to do with the Clipper theme. That's a problem with that person's website blocking, uh, not allowing us to this script to uh, pull in a screenshot so there's right now there's not much you can do um, I believe that there is they are making uh, some adjustments so that we can eliminate this from happening it doesn't happen very often so you don't have to worry about it but um, yeah so the featured coupon section is a good way to monetize the website going forward you can charge um, you could leave just normal coupons free and then you could charge uh, extra or, wh or whatever you wanted to do for them to show up in the featured uh, coupon section of the site. So that's how you make uh, coupons featured. I hope this helps 
And again, if you have specific questions about the Clipper theme, just contact me through my website, uploadwordpress.com, and I'd be happy to create a video for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.